I'm Rob LaCourie, a senior editor at Gold Derby here with Jamie Hartman, who wrote the Oscar shortlisted song, Here I Am, Singing My Way Home, from Respect, alongside star and Oscar winner Jennifer Hudson and the legendary Carol King. First of all, Jamie, congrats on making the Oscar shortlist as well as being nominated at the Golden Globes, the Society of Composers and Lyricists and the Hollywood Music and Media Awards. It's very cool. It couldn't be much cooler than that because sandwiched between Jennifer Hudson, Carol King, following Diane Warren, that things are pretty good right now. I'm working up in uh, in 22, feeling pretty good about things. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty cool, and I totally agree. Um, you know, here I am is a sublime gospel infused track that closes out the film. I just couldn't imagine a better way of closing out this film. It's so uplifting hearing Jennifer's gorgeous voice. So I'm wondering then, as songwriter, what's your number one priority when crafting the song with your collaborators to really, to cap off this film? Don't screw it up. <laughs> That's good. Yeah. Um, it's a huge brief. I mean, each, if you listen, I've been listening to each of these um, amazing nominees and legends that are on this call with, with me and with you. I mean, everybody has an incredible brief that they've been given, you know what I mean, on each of these films. There's, some, there's such pivotal moments, there's such key things to try to, um, um, to conceptualize in music and put together and somehow summarize, you know, and bring together at the end of a film. So the idea, well, Jennifer and I spoke uh, about, because we've worked together a few times, uh, and she was kind enough to ask me to get involved in this song. Um, and I immediately said, well, wait a minute. <laughs> <laughs> um, you want me to try and write an end title song for an Aretha Franklin movie. How do I even begin to think about that? And my, my head went to, you know, first of all, it was beautiful, it was panic. And then it was, um, how do we summarize a, a, a life that has touched so many, so many people around the world in so many different ways, such an incredible iconic star. So what a voice, what a soul. Jennifer's got her, her work cut out for her as, an, as a performer and the most incredible performance she gives, I think is wonderful, yeah. you know, um, notwithstanding every other nominee in, in, the, in the category and all these categories, she's done a wonderful job of it. How do we begin to approach that? I didn't see footage of the movie beforehand, but my thought was, if Jennifer wants to do me to do this with her, um, I might need a little help. And if there's a way that I'm going to do that, when I think of Aretha along with everybody else, I think of the classics, I think of Chain of Fools, I think of, um, you know, all these amazing songs. Um, uh, and I think of moments in my, my youth and growing up through most of my decades with a song or other by Aretha. So but the one thing that I had seen recently before doing this was... Um, the Kennedy Honours, I revisited it, uh, watching Aretha wailing away and th in the most amazing way and seeing Carol doing this, you know, on the balcony with, uh, with uh, Michelle Barack, Obama standing there. It was just a, such a wonderful moment. Uh, Natural Woman was such a huge song. Uh, it made sense to me to, to dream big. I, I've lived in LA for 10 years of my life. I'm in Nashville at the moment. We were in lockdown. Everybody was in lockdown. Everybody was sitting there wondering what was gonna happen next. I lost my 19 pounds or more sitting there stressing about what my family were going through and my kids were going to do and how we were going to get through it all. But I thought to myself, well, so is Carol King somewhere, you know, uh, and if I'm ever going to reach out and try and pursue the dream I've been pursuing all this time, why don't we ask, see if she's available? Because if anyone's going to be able to help put this thing together that, and really encapsulate the whole thing, it's Carol. So that's what we did. We reached out and she blessed us and said, yes. And, you know, I, that was on a Monday. I spoke to the A&R guy on a Monday. He said, I said, Zeke, how are we going to make this happen? He said, I have no idea. I said, well, I'll find, I'll, I'll help. I'll get her email from somewhere. We'll figure it out and we'll, we'll make it happen. And by Friday, she'd agreed to jump on a Zoom with us on, on you know, and the, the following Monday we were on the Zoom talking it through with Jennifer and it was a dream. Wow. That's incredible. You know, to be completely honest, like ages ago when I was looking at some of the songs that might be in the conversation, I literally thought that could, it's not the Carol King. So I looked it up I'm like, it is the Carol King. <laughs> what did you most value about collaborating with her? What did she bring to the table that you maybe you didn't expect? Um, 
she brought everything, which was exactly what I expected. Um, I, you know, she's one of the greatest ever singer songwriters. And again, and I'm you're sitting there having just interviewed one of the greatest ever living singer songwriters. Diane is absolutely, you know, those two are icons and such a wonderful thing that we're talking about these and about these people. And the fact, the idea for me that I might be able to write a song with her was extraordinary. So, and Jennifer, by the way, the two of them collaboratively are were an incredible partnership because you get so much gospel, and you yes. get so much of the songwriting class and and the chord structures. So for me, as I said to you at the beginning, it really was my opportunity to bring out the black woman trapped in a white man's body, which is what I've been since I was a kid. Uh, and Carol's input was huge. I mean, she sat down when we first on the Zoom, the first Zoom that we did, and she brought all of her knowledge of Aretha, but she also brought all of her songwriting to it. And she had a thought. She was the one that said, look, you know, and we, the conversation centered at the very beginning around Aretha didn't, even though she was who she was at this, she didn't feel heard. She didn't feel there were, there were, she, it was about saying to the world, finally, across the course of the movie, this is who I am. And this is what I've had to get through and overcome to be here. And there are so many lovely stories in this in this particular category this year and so many extraordinary things that have happened over the course of the last two years for people out there watching that I think there are a lot of poignant moments that needed to be expressed in the movies, you know, in, in the songs. And that was what, just what we tried to do. We tried to, to not dishonour Aretha by trying to write an Aretha song because that would have been in a, in a way not disrespectful I don't think that's, I think that's too much of a pun on it but it wouldn't have been the kind of the white right approach it's to it's to channel a bit of that allow Jennifer to, to echo that but not to try and you know write another Aretha classic because they're already there so it was quite a big brief to take on and I think Carol brought to it a brilliant structure in fact that's what I wanted to do to answer this question I know it's cheeky but I asked her if I could do it Carol sang the demo and her take, you know, from the beginning was very much, this is the second section, section of the song that you might have heard. And it's classic Carol. And this is what she brings, you know, as well as the title and, and all the other gorgeousness and the, the collaborative elements that Jennifer and I brought to it, some of the lyric and the structures, but Carol singing it gives you an idea of where her side of this came, came from, which is- One, um, one, two, three. You're a girl Born with the voice But unheard That's Cal, right? And that's the answers from the backing vocalist You're denied And as soon as we did that You sing cause they won't Let you fly And then What now? Backing vocals, right? And then you go into classics Step I'm going to stop in a second. So. Till you hold it in your hands and say, here I am. I mean, and yeah. <laughs> so <laughs> so, so it, it's mind blowing to have to have to have that that information yeah. and that joy and that soul brought brought out in a, in a piece of music that yes. Jennifer then then goes and delivers what she delivers. I mean, don't, you know, she was very much a part of this and we all three of us collaborated on each part of this record, but yeah. to think that she then had to follow that <laughs> and, then, and then sing. Oh my God. Her husband. And the Aretha side of it is pretty extraordinary. Yeah, there's so much going on there. And like my final question before we run out of time is, you know, I know you for writing some really amazing pop dance tracks like Rag and Bone Man and as an Aussie, Conrad Sewell, like, God, he's incredible, right? So I was thinking, like, how on earth did he kind of bring his A-game to something so out of your wheelhouse and with lines like, I trusted your way for too, too long. It's time for me to sing, sing my, my own perfect line. So final question, were you terrified? Was it a huge challenge? And yeah, what, what was that initial thought for you like when you got the job? Never terrified. Uh, I think that's why Jennifer asked me. She knew that we, from meeting him previously that um, 
that I, I really grew up on that this type but then on Aretha I grew up on Otis Redding like you know I, I was a huge soul fan um, um, Bessie Smith um, Etta James the, the places that I grew up and listening to things like the Ink Spots the Platters all these all these places that that um, soul music and rock and roll kind of fused so for me the idea that I was going to get the opportunity to do it I just jumped at it with with both you know in with both feet but those lines are that you just quoted, Jennifer brought to bear the entire subject matter of what Aretha was, was trying, you know, did. She always sang her way, she, Jennifer always says, I sing my, my way home every time I step on stage. But and Aretha, in the same way, sings her way home. And you, no one can deny that she sang all the way, <laughs> all the way home, you know, with this, with this. And I think we, we were just really, it was the most amazing brief to try and hit and fingers crossed we did a, a, a you know a, a job enough that we're here and that's an amazing blessing as diane said just to be nominated within this category is a cliche as i don't care how cliched it might be it's incredible to be in this group of people and to be able to to do this for a living i'm i'm a very lucky guy absolutely well thank you for your time we're going to bring you back shortly for our group chat sure thanks for having me <laughs>